Welcome back to six news at six time to take a look at your weather and hey, we did it. We cracked 100 degrees in Waco today and I'm probably the only person that's happy about that right now. 101 today up at Waco Regional Airport started off the day at 73. We haven't had a lot of 100s this year. In fact, today is only now the fourth day this year that we've actually cracked 100 degrees. So as I do, sometimes I want to talk about where that leaves us in comparison to the historical record and where it leaves us in comparison to some of our hotter years. So again, today, the fourth day this year that we've cracked 100 degrees. It's August 6th. Yeah, it's a little late for that. 100 degree days to date uh, as of this time last year. Hey, we we're already up to 34 days over 100 by this point last year. On average, we'd expect about 14 of those days by the time we get to August 6th. So we are well below the averages, well below where we were last year, which is why one of the reasons why it still does feel a little bit more mild this year because last year is still fresh in our memories. Is 2011 still fresh in your memory? Because by August 6th, we were up to 55 100 degree days again on our way to 90. We don't have enough time left in the year and in the summer to make that, but we'll get a few more days because if you take a look at the forecast I've got for you this week, we're looking at at least four more days. 101 tomorrow, 102 Thursday, 103 on Friday, 101 on Saturday. Could get a break from the triple digits by Sunday, but this time of the year when we talk about breaks, we're still talking about 99, 98 degrees, so keep that in mind. Heat advisory is in effect for tomorrow and Thursday. I fully expect this to be extended into Friday as well as the week goes on, but for now again, we have tomorrow, we have Thursday. Heat, and, uh, heat advisories have been issued, so my job of course is to help you stay safe. So what do we need to do? Well, the obvious answer is drink plenty of water. Even if you don't feel thirsty, if you're working outdoors, you need to stay hydrated. Also wear loose fitting, light colored clothing. Again, darker clo colors will absorb more of that heat. We also want to make sure we're taking breaks, whether that's in the shade or in the AC, pick one, but make sure you're taking breaks. And if you remember anything that I ever say, it is to check your back seat and make sure you don't leave anybody in your back seat. The back seat of a car can, can get up to 140 degrees very quickly. Anyway, out there right now, 97 still feels like 100 degrees. By the time uh, as we take a look around the area, right around 100 still in the six o'clock hour. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, lower to mid 70s across the area. Tomorrow afternoon, 101 to 103. But when you factor in the humidity, yeah, it's going to feel like it's 105 to 107. And our forecast does not change much over the next seven days. Take a look here. Triple digits as far as the eye can see. 101, 102, 103, 101 for your Saturday, 99 Sunday. That's a little bit of a break with a little bit of a wind shift, but we're right back into the triple digits next week.